everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beauty haul, some skincare and makeup I've received recently. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea and I make new videos weekly on fashion, beauty, and travel. I hope you'll stick around by subscribing down below. So first up, I wanna share some stuff from Urban Decay. Urban Decay sent me a couple different parcels containing some new releases. So first up is the Back Talk palette, and this is actually a eyeshadow and face palette inspired by this lipstick. The shade is this gorgeous, nudie, mauve pink. So this whole palette is themed around this lipstick for that monochromatic makeup look. You have eight gorgeous eyeshadows. There are three mattes, five shimmers. The shadows are kind of in that plummy, bronzy, mauve color family. And then you have two blushes and then two highlights. So, so far, so good. I am wearing the matte shadows on my eyes today really quite like the look. I will say that I've only tried the matte shadows so far. They are very pigmented once you get them on the brush, but not so much from the finger swatch. I was kind of disappointed with three sheets and even back talk. Like, I am wearing the highlight called Party Foul today. It's not super duper apparent. It's a little more subtle. And I am wearing the blush shade Double Take, which is this one right here. So I've been liking it so far. I don't think it's a home run for me. I don't think it's better than the classic Naked palettes. So getting back to the lips really quick. The lipstick, Comfort Matte Formula, super duper creamy and pigmented, gorgeous color. I do have the lipstick topped with this Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss by Urban Decay. This is also in the shade Back Talk. It is super pigmented, super shiny. I definitely had to touch up between shooting videos today, but these come in a ton of different fun colors and neutrals as well. So here are the neutrals I picked out to try. Of course we have Back Talk, then we have Midnight Cowgirl, Obsessed, Rapture, and fuel. So some of these have shimmer, some of these are just cream formulas. I will say I'm really looking forward to trying Midnight Cowgirl because it is a peachy nude with a gold kind of green reflex to it. It is so pretty. They have a ton of different colors to choose from and they have different finishes. So they have cream, sheer creams, holographics, and metallics. They also have vitamin E and peppermint oil and you can really feel that peppermint on your lips. It is so cooling and it feels so nice. So these new lip glosses are gonna be available at Sephora and Ulta and select Macy's stores and they're gonna retail for $20. Urban Decay also sent over their Naked Petite Heat and if you haven't seen this palette yet, it is absolutely adorable. So this is a super compact, very practical eyeshadow palette, perfect for those of us on the go. It has six shadows inspired by their Naked Heat palette, which I have not tried. So these are five matte shades and one satin shade on the end. This palette is just like perfectly oriented in my opinion. You have like the brow bone lid shade highlights, you have the mid-tone crease colors, and then you have the deep outer V, you know, smoke out colors at the end to give you extra definition. So I'm very excited to try this out and I love that it's matte, love that it's small, compact, just perfect for my lifestyle. And then Urban Decay also sent over five of their 24-7 glide on pencils. I used to love these back in the day. The honest truth is that I don't really wear pencil eyeliner much nowadays. It's just that I prefer liquid and I don't really like coloring in my waterline because I hate smudging eyeliner on my contacts and ruining my contacts. So I'm not even gonna risk it with these. I remember them being really good back in the day, but it's just not for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss these in a giveaway. We have Zero, which is the famous black shade. Roach, which is like a, you know, saddly brown. Alkaline, which is a purple. Demolition, which is like a charcoal brown. And Heartless, which I think is a lavender or lilac silver. So huge thank you to Urban Decay for sending over all those goodies. I'm very, very excited to try what's new from the brand. So switching gears to a more indie brand real quick, I have some stuff here from Bloom Natural Beauty. And this is a skincare line all centered around the healing properties of the Dead Sea. Bloom Mineral Beauty is paraben free, petroleum, GMO free, cruelty free. All their products are chock full of natural ingredients like aloe vera, calendula, chamomile, green tea, and so on. What I th also thought was really cool about, you know, the lead scientist behind this company is that at her facility in Jordan, it is run by all women. First up, we have the Shielding Body Lotion. It says lightweight penetrating moisture softens and nourishes the skin. Next up, we have the Shielding Hand Cream to deeply moisturize and protect, fortified with vitamins and essential fatty acids. A really great size. And then last up, I have the Hydrating Almond Scrub. It gently exfoliates and removes impurities. So the common thread between all these products is that they contain dead sea salt. So I think that's so cool and really something different. So this brand also has products for facial skincare, also feet and the body. So check them out. Their website is bloommineralbeauty.com. 
Next up, I have some products from the Mega Mushroom range at Origin. I've been really intrigued by the Mega Mushroom range at Origins lately because I've been trying their soothing facial lotion and I'm absolutely obsessed. It's in my bathroom, but it comes in packaging identical to this. But this is the Advanced Face Serum. So you can use this AM and PM. It leaves sensitive skin calm and comforted. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Next up is the Soothing Treatment Lotion. So this is a toner suitable for AM and PM. Again, suitable for sensitive skin. So last up is the Soothing Face Mask. So these products are all going to be suitable for sensitive skin, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. Pixie has recently teamed up with three mega YouTube stars to come out with their own collaborations, and the first one up is Chloe Morello. So in this palette, you have three cheek colors, um, kind of like two blushes and one's more of a highlight. You have six eyeshadow colors that are like shimmery in finish, and then you have three matte like liner slash brow colors, depending on what hair color you have. So I think it's a beautiful all-in-one palette. Chloe Morello also came out with this lip icing in the shade Cake. And it is a glittery, gorgeous lip gloss. Super reflective and shiny. You can wear it, of course, alone, lay it over a lipstick. You can use it as an ombre in the center of your lipstick to add a gradient effect. This has rosehip seed oil and marula oil in it, so it's very, very slick and nourishing. And it's so, so beautiful. It kind of looks rose gold in some lights and then like yellow gold in others. It smells a little bit like lemon icing, so it smells really good. I'm honestly not the biggest lip gloss wearer, I say that, of course, as I'm wearing lip gloss today, but I'm very, very excited to try this out because it looks so hydrating and glossy. Next up is Pixie's collaboration with Dulce Candy, and she has two palettes. The first one is the Lip Candy palette, so this is a lipstick palette. So I'm going to be tossing this one in a giveaway just because I don't really reach for lip palettes, but I will be trying this one out. This is the Cafe Con Dulce multi-use palette. The shades in this palette are all super shimmery and gorgeous. I think you can use some of these as lid colors, highlighters, and so on. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. So the last YouTuber collaboration is with Whaley, and this is the Dimensional Eye Creator Kit. You have an eyeshadow palette and a dual-ended liner. So unlike the Dulce Candy palette, and unlike the Chloe Morello palette, this palette has some more uh, matte tones that are like great for the crease, mid-tone browns, and they are larger pan sizes. So Last up, I wanted to share some lipsticks I received from L'Oreal, and this is their new Colorish Shine Lipsticks. I actually got the entire range of these lipsticks. These come in 16 different shades. I've picked out three that I want to try, and I think I'll be tossing the rest in my upcoming 15,000 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for that. So these lipsticks are supposed to be light as air, shiny, glossy, and really, really comfortable. Typically, L'Oreal lipsticks are not my favorite just because they are so heavily fragranced and it's kind of that old school granny scent, no offense. Formula-wise, I really do enjoy the Colorish matte lipsticks, but the scent was a little bit hard to get over. I'm so delighted to see that these don't have the same granny scent to them. The scent on these is almost non-existent. It is very faint. These are the worst swatches in the world, I will say, but it'll get the job done. The shade on the top is a beautiful soft petal pink and the shade is called Sparkling Rose. The next shade is called Shining Peach and is, of course, a much more peachy pink. And then the last shade at the bottom is called Glossy Fawn. It is a soft, kind of peachy nude. I think L'Oreal is really having a moment with these. I mean, new, fun, innovative, daring packaging. They've gotten rid of the granny scent. And the formula looks really, really nice, like just looking at my arm. I have yet to try these out on my lips, so that will be the true test. But I'm really, really looking forward to trying these because... You know, it's not what I expected from L'Oreal. Again, if you want to win the remaining shades, go ahead and subscribe down below and stay tuned for my next giveaway. And there you have it. Those are some of the products I've recently received in the world of beauty. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the products, definitely leave me a comment below or check the description box for shoppable links and more information. If you enjoyed the video, please hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I'll see you very soon in my next video.